Good morning, everyone. Allow me to present to you my topic on array data structures. All right. To start with, let us first define what is an array. I know it's an string array. According to the definition, an array is a series of elements. When I say series of elements, these are a group of elements that is forming a linear, okay? With linear, so it's a node of the same type. So, magpaprihas na type. Kung integer, so the array is integer. Natanan nga elements, natanan ito ni isulod, ito ni array is, if iya type is an integer. If character, natanan character. Kung string, natanan string. And those elements are placed in a contiguous memory location. So, may ada niya kadatag sa location. That can be individually referenced by adding an index. So, an iya location is what we call as index. For example, this one. So, example here, this are your memory locations. Kadao sa may dani memory location. Kadao sa nga element may niya tag sa tag sa nga location. Okay? And the name of this array is Billy. For, for this example only. It can be uh, it can may it may have different names. And the data type or the type says uh, it should be it should have the same type. So this is the type of integer. Okay. Okay. Let's move forward. Okay. So there there are terms that are being used in array. So element and index. When I say element, these are the items stored in an array. And sulod niya. And the index refers to the location of that element. Okay? For example, this one, if you'll notice, an array nga ang nga niya is Billy, may ada pipera the elements. There are five. And the elements here are this one, in a red, 23, 12, 45, 8, and 35. So, lima nga elements. And then, hindi da itong index. So, index are your location. Take note that an index always start from zero. Okay, this one, zero. So, if you are going to analyze this one, it means that at index zero, it is so load is 23. At index one, it is so load 12. Index two, 45. Index three, eight. And the last one is index four, 35. Okay, so this is a type of integer. Okay, integers yeah, elements. And the name of this array is B. Okay, okay, let's move forward. Now, how do we access the value in an array? Pag pano kuno iton pag access? Pag goha hiton value did it have array? Okay, in any point of a program in which an array is visible, we can access the value. When may adapt ko no array na visible, we can always access the value and the element. Okay? So what are the operations that we can do? We can read and modify its value. Pwede natin makuha, mabasa, Ma modify, ma change it on the value. Okay, the format or the syntax to get the value or to access the value in an array is this one. The name of the array 
and the index number. Sample lang kanina, if you are going to access, kung karyag natin, if you access it 12, this one, so at index 1 here, and then it nga rin ito na aton uh, array is really, so by using this format or syntax, we can say that Billy and index ni Mania is 1. So, we will get number 12. Okay, let's move. Now, how do we initialize an array? When we say initialize, gintatagan natin hin value itong nga array. Okay? For example, this one. Integer Billy and five tapos added EA elements. Okay, take note when we initialize an array, it should be enclosed with braces. Add here braces. So meaning in here are the elements of the array. So sixteen to seventy-seven forty twelve thousand seventy-one. And the data type of this array is integer. And the name of that uh, array is Billy. And it should always have this one. Meaning, tigaman nga array niya because of this. Ining a five refer, refers to the number of elements. Lima. So one, two, Three, four, five. Dari pwede magkulang, di pwede magsubra. Okay? Kung pera di din taka specify, asya daman ito niya. Sulod. Okay? Nakuha. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, so this declaration would have created an array like this. Oh, di ba? At array, uh, at index zero is 16, at index one, two. Index 2, 77, index 3, 40, and index 4, 12,071. The amount of values between braces in here, kuno, must not be larger than the number. Diri pwede magsubra. Kung 5 la, 5 la. Okay? Okay, so example this one. Okay, string. This is a type string, and the name of of the array is fruit and these are your elements apple, pear, peach and lemon. Kaya naman makakasing kita nga string here because of this one. Double quote. Pag double quote, in between of double quotation, it means that is uh, a string type. Okay? Now this line of code, fruit 2, index 2, meaning kukuha unta ko no itun index Two in this array. Hi, not index to the that. So because your array always start with zero, so at master kita hiton zero. So this one is zero. Apple is zero. One is pear, and two is peach. So meaning iton ma appear di that atom program he peach. Ko kahaw natin hey peach because it specify natin nga at index 2, iton iga output naton. Ha? Okay, another example. This one. Using namespace, this uh, integer billy, these are your elements, and n, result n. So, meaning, ikla plus niya, iton iya sum. So, billy n. If n is equals to 0, iglulub niya. So, malima. So, blah, blah, seratanan. Okay. Another one. Another, uh, we can also initialize our array in something like this. But specify natin. At index 0, 19. Index 1 is 15. Index 2 is 12. Index 3 is 23. It, in, uh, index 4 is 36. So we will get the, to get the values here, so h, x. Kasi ko ka natin, 
Okay, we can also have multidimensional arrays. When I say multidimensional, so it can be described as arrays of arrays. So, duduha na type of array. Okay? It is a form of rows and columns. Okay, iton row, sugat, and column is pa tiktong. This one. Okay, example this one. So, in gaming array, this is our integer type, and then row and column. So, three rows, three rows, one, two, three, and then five columns in hinga five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, shut here. Another example. Okay, what are the operations in an array? Operations, many, but ano tapang pili mabuhat? We can traverse, we can insert, we can delete, we can search, and we can update. For example, insertion at the beginning. We say insertion at the beginning. For example, this one. These are your array. So at index zero, key one. So because we are inserting element at the beginning, nag insert kita hin ten. So ten, nahinga dahiyahan front, beginning. Ba? So one, three, five, seven, eight, naging ten. So an bago nga element is ten. One, three, five, seven, and eight. So here is the code. So, the, the type of uh, data that we are going to store in an array is integer. And the name of our array is LA. Adi ataton array elements. 1, 3, 5, 7, and 8. Okay? This one naman, an aton element nga igi insert. Didahan beginning. So, because we are inserting at the beginning. So, he then dapat aadihiyan front. Primero. And our uh, number of elements in an array is 5. So, we have here um, variables that we will be using when we are going to uh, run our array. So, J is to call N. So, paran N is, that is, Okay, so this is the code to output the original array. So I is equal to zero, I is less than n. So output here. And then this one naman, because mag insert kita in di ba limamalan iya capacity ito nyo array. Since we will be adding one element so ma add it at an index so l i plus one so i is referring to our index okay then our new index uh, our new new capacity or the size of the array and then this one naman in here ma code l a at index zero ibubulat tang na natin yung item hindi man yung item I add he ten. So if it's a be him, he ten ibubutang na natin ha index zero. Then n plus plus because it will be adding the size of the array. Then output the elements. The output would be this one. So at index zero, add na he ten. At the original array element. Tapos, adi naman after insertion at the beginning. Nako ha? Okay, I hope so. Now, we can also insert at the given index. We say given index, uh, there is a specific index kung hain na ito na ibubuta. It's either at that point nga or after hit on beginning. Basta di rin beginning, not at the end. Okay, same example. So, hit then, ibubutang natin. Let's take this example. So, kanina, insert at the beginning. So, nakadihay ang beginning. Now, 
insert at a given index. Kita ni, ito yung gini-insert. Hear me. So, at index, 0, 1, 2. So, at index 2, nato na insert Okay? Here is our original array, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. Then, after insertion, 1, 3, 10, 5, 7, 8. So, this is the code. So, again, ito na insert it then. And our elements are 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. This one naman is the size of the array. J is equal to 2 refers to the index nga aton bubutangan kan. Then, at index 2 kuno, ibubutang naton ki then. So, these are the code to print the original array. And since mag kita hin element, so ma you have kita hiton index. So, i plus 1. Okay, so equals to la i. Now, we will be inserting the item. Ining item. Iten, ito ni ba? I item is equal to 10. And la at j. So, j is equal to 2. So, meaning, the element 10, bubutang naton, nga dihat index 2. Then, n plus plus. Kaya, mangyayari na niya. Ha? Okay. Let's move forward. So now let us delete. Pag delete, pag iban. Diba? Okay. So here is the code to delete. So tima na kata pag insert. Ano kata pag delete? Almost the same in the process. So these are our elements and our size of the array. Then k is equal to o. These are your... Uh, variables that we are going to use. Then this, also i and j. Later on, we'll be using that. So this is to print your original array. And here, we will be using temporary variables. So, k is equal to 0. So, and value in k, it transfer to 0. Okay? So this is a loop. While j, so 0 is less than your n, so true, kasi your n is 5, so less than here. So, maiban kita hiton, iya, your j is used for um, uh, index. So, j is equals to uh, j minus 1, maiban kita hit iya index, then j plus 1. Then, of course, the given man kita index, may ibundaman na naton, size of the array. So, n equals to n minus 1. Then, at the beginning man here, di ba? So, na iban kita di that index 0. Na iban na naton elements. So, after we are printing the elements after deletion. So, so edit iya pinaka output. So, nawara and 1 because na delete kita din hinga part j is equal to 1 so 0 kanin anaton j di ba kin minus anaton 1 na ibanan niya tapos nag add nya how kita na so bi kin again 1 okay na wara hi 1 so 3 na lang isa Okay, what about if we are going to delete at a given index? So, at index, this one, example, here are our elements, then the size, then k is equal to 2 na. So, meaning, at index 2, magdi-delete kita. Okay, so this is an example. Index 2, di-delete natin hey, 5. So, add in natin yung pinaka-output. Now, what are 5? So, 1, 3, 7, and 8. Okay, so, at index 2, in a, we are, this is to print your original array. Then j is equal to k plus 1. k plus 1, so 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, hit 3, mahinga nga di kan j. So, j is equal to 3. Then, minus na hiya, mawawara naan aton j. j minus na, so 2. Diba? Index 2. Then minus an atom size of the array because na delete kita. So kaya nangyari tiya. Nawara an atom 2. An index 2 kanina. 
equal 5. Okay, deletion at the end. So at the end. So n is equal to 5. Our elements here, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. Then printing the original array. So j is equal to n. Kaya ito kaya that n. Mag-delete. So j is equal to 5. Kasi 5, uh, your n is equal to 5. Well, j is equal less than or equal to n. So ma-minus kita. And j. So 5 minus 1 magiging 4. Tapos, um, minus naman hand size, minus 1. So, ang mangyayari, this is your original array, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, tapos after deletion at the end, naging 1, 3, 5, and 7. Okay, let us update at the beginning. When I say update, mamodify natin value. For example, this one. Enter the new value. At the beginning, di ba? So, originally, ang nakabutang didahan beginning is 1. But since, gin update na ito, 34, binalyo ka, 1. So, adi na, 34 na, nakadihan 1. Okay? So, this is an example. So, our original array. So, item... Item gin declare natin to store the to store the value nga ato ni gin enter then original array so here la at index zero is called to your item so and item now depende hiton insert natin didi this one then update at the given index so magamit yung position so enter the index example this one Enter the index nga aton bubutangan. So, at index 3, buta natin yung 45. So, originally, an index 3 is 7, di ba? LA3 is equal to 7. Tapos, yung baliwa natin yung 45. So, LA3 naging 45. So, here is the code. Enter the index. Mahold na, na variable is for pause, for position, and then the new value is your item. Printing the original array, this one. Now, this one, the item, isusulod natin itong position natin gusto. Putangan. Ano natin yung... Kung index 3 hiya, tapos 45. So, at index 3... 45 data na ito button. Then print the array after updating. Okay? Update at the end. So n is equal to 5. So 5 manhera, di ba? So print the original array. And this one, n minus 1, because na minus here per me, because di ba, limang elements. Tapos, it always start with 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 5 minus 1 is equals to 4. So, meaning, at index 4, at index 4, bubutang nato na nato na item. Okay? This one. Enter the new value, 46. So, this is the original array. 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. Pagbutang nato na 46, didihiya ka. Butang ha. Last at the end. Okay, we can also search. We can search element. Okay. We can search an element by element or by index. Okay. An element that we can be building, of course, our input data is the element. So, print the, uh, print the array. Now, we have a condition here. If LA is equal to J, so meaning, yung tuturin natin element, or the item, natin yung insert, ma-break kita, then j is equal to j plus 1. Found item, ang natin bibili at what index, at what location. Example, this one. Enter the element, 3 and natin yung bibili. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. Nasa rin niya, found item 3, or element number 3 at index 1. So at index 1 here. Okay. 
we can also have search by index. Index and up an input. So, ano ko na itong solo dito ng index 3? So, that is 7. So, at index 3, the element is 7. So, here is the code. So, enter the index. So, ano ko na index is your position. Pos. And then, LA, I is called to your position because refer, I refer, refers to your index. So, equals to your position and item, even when man natin ang add items, LA is equal to I. Item is equal to LA, I, then I plus plus, at index, and that's three, element, element is seven. Okay? Okay, now your task is to integrate all the operations in the array. Ang nga tanan, pag-insert, pag-delete, pag-search, pag-update into a single program. Ada na itong ko, di ba? So what you're going to do is to create a program, o sa lang a program, tapos nga tanan na, ada. for example, this one, insert, delete, search, update. Okay. I'll give you an example for that. This one. Okay. Search. Uh, I, if I choose one, we insert a call. Okay. So insert at the beginning, the given index at the end. Okay. I choose insert at the beginning. Enter number 56. Okay. So this one. 56 na yung adhia. Okay? Do you want to continue if I press yes? Okay, okay that's all for this morning. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. God bless.